Hello all, and welcome to our summary for our Age of Behemoths, a Fabula Ultima campaign. Picking up where we left off in the swamp, the crew gathered the scales of the sealed leviathan, and then pulled out a magic tent to rest for the night. Recovering energy and preparing to move forward, the group departed the tent to find a poacher out and about capturing small water elemental serpents. In order to bring back for a festival to Stone Storm's Grove, as he had said. Uh, the group discussed with him for a while. Uh, he offered a little bit of rations, and after a bit of the creepiness from our food collector, as it were, and a dropped turkey from impossibility, they managed to scare him off. The group trudged the swamp. Finding the portal creature, seeing it in good health and safe, they decided to leave it there, making their way to Storm's End. Flying above the canopy, they were attacked by the vulture leviathan, looking for a quick meal. As the group fended it off, it escaped back into the darkness, or into the sky as it were, after being assaulted by those on board the flying contraption. Arriving at Storm, Storm's End, the group got to work. One going to Alina's shop, buying some protection and resistance. Others going to check out the butcher's, which was closed, to discover that he had gone to a festival over across the, the landscape, about a week's away. The final encountered Alina. The demons they had brutally murdered and cut the heart out, revived and surviving in this town. Neither Lena nor the warrior wanted to get into it after the roughness the last time. They parted ways quickly. Continuing on, more was discussed in the town, but it came to the attention that the rooster avatar was there, singing praises of himself defeating the Hydra Leviathan, angry many of the group. While Lorva spent his time in the cafe inn, stocking up on sweets, baked goods, and of course frog soup, the delicacy of the sit town. He came out joining the others. Accusing the rooster of falsehoods, the rooster played his best to talk up the characters, presenting them as heroes to the crowd and, you know, equals to himself. But the PCs were having none of it. Trying to convince the truth out of him, he dis the rooster avatar decided he needed to leave, leaving Mercy and Lorva to follow it. While the others sung to the crowd, uh, getting praises for song, and eventually retiring to the Frog Cafe, where Alina walked in at the end. However, the others managed to corner the rooster avatar, trying to get out of him if he belonged to the cultists. His answers were never direct, and mentioned something that Rowan might be the cause of Leviathan's awakenings. As he tried to make a distraction and throw down a smoke bomb, Lava kept Lar Lorva kept his eyes on him, while Mercy glanced away only for a second, returning to this battle against Rooster Kung Fu. Alright all, hope everyone's having a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time at the table. Bye for now.